for more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today we are joined by a very special guest, Dr. Pati El Fad, who is the Secretary of the Information Bureau of the Sudanese Communist Party. As we know, the Sudan in Sudan has been seeing a revolution over the past two years. The people rose up in the in, towards the end of 2018 against the dictator Omar al Bashir. They managed to overthrow him. Even after overthrowing him, the military junta tried to retain power. The people have been continuously fighting against it, and the Sudanese Communist Party has been in the forefront of these struggles. So today we are joined by Dr. Fati, who is himself he was imprisoned during the protests. Yeah, as part of the Sudanese revolution as well. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Fati. The first question I wanted to ask you was regarding uh, the Sudanese revolution itself. It's been over two years now. How do you evaluate the progress of these popular movements? What have been the achievements, and what are the challenges right now? Uh, the main problem, as far as the present situation in the Sudan after two years, uh, after, or after nearly two years since the more than two years since the beginning of the uh, mass uprising in the country on the 12th of December uh, 2018, that since the, that the mass, the mass uh, demonstrations and protest actions took place without a central leadership in the sense that there, at that time there was only the forces of consensus who made a bold step in calling for mass action against the regime. Other forces, uh, especially uh, groups around Sudan appeal or, or Nida Sudan, uh, Sudan call, sorry, uh, were very hesitant at the beginning. Uh, especially the Uma party, the largest uh, party within the Sudan call, uh, uh, told that the mass uprising was not as matured and, and will not lead to nowhere. And they were, uh, especially late uh, Sadiq al Mahdi, was negotiating with the regime uh, towards the end of uh, 2018, beginning of even 2019. However, uh, uh, about the Ummah party supporting uh, the election of the pre uh, President al Bashir, President al Bashir in 2020. Uh, however, the Hamas uprising took took them by surprise, and they, they tried to join the mass, act, the mass action, and they jumped at the last wagon of that mass uh, action. And uh, on the 19th of January 2019, uh, the, the Sudan called people joined within, uh, uh, joined hands with the, the national consensus forces, and they formed the Freedom and Change uh, Organization. And they signed uh, a minimum program, which is supposed to be the program for the transitional period. What was uh, clear from the very beginning, that differences between the different political forces existed in the sense that some, uh, the, the, while they agreed on the minimum program, however, that there were two points which were not very, very clear uh, uh, at the beginning. Where is what is uh, what is the direction of the mass movement? Whether it is a movement to remove the regime, to remove the regime, to overthrow the regime, to dismantle the regime, and to liquidate the regime, this, which was mentioned very clearly in the document. Others had their own interpretation to that, especially the Uma Party, the. The Sudan, the Sudan Congress Party and some of the so-called rebel groups who thought that the main thing is uh, removal of the uh, ultra-Islamic forces and not the whole regime. And they were ready from the very beginning to accommodate uh, some of these forces uh, within the opposition, which was refused by the SCP and its allies especially the professional uh, alliance. Here comes the main question. From the very beginning, it was established that, uh, that we, uh, the, 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 the forces for freedom and change will stand only for uh, a complete civil authority, a complete civil power, and no sharing power with the military. 
which some of the other forces were very hesitant about it. So the issue of differences, you might call it that way, or treason, started from the very beginning, even before the overthrow of the head of the state, or the removal of the head of the state as it happened. And, uh, second, in the second phase, on the 11th of April, 2019, when the, the security committee of the regime removed over al-Bashir, some of these forces thought that this is the end of it for them, while others, like the SCP, uh, were demanding a complete uh, go forward and that uh, the, whole, the whole power should fall in the hands of uh, the, the, the forces of uh, freedom and change or those forces ready, who are ready to take it. However, here is, is a was a problem because even within the, let's say, the radical forces, there was no plan B which uh, uh, stipulates how they can uh, uh, raise power from the military or from the regime, the uh, previous regime. Here, the, the main uh, point of contention was how, how and where and what time we can, the, the, the people, the people's authority can be declared. Uh, on this matter, uh, because of the absence of a clear cut plan to range power, the hesitancy started to appear within the ranks of the opposition. And not a single force, including the SCP, was ready at that time to, to take the step towards uh, forcing the hands of the military to surrender power. And the main thing was through the sit-in uh, by, I think, around hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people in front of the headquarters of the army. So they thought that this is the main weapon through which they can uh, range power from the military. And they were calling, uh, main slogan, they are calling for the army uh, to take the side of the uh, demonstrators. However, the main problem here it, uh, there was no single force, I mean, or a group of officers uh, within the army who were ready at that time to side with the uh, protesting masses. And uh, the grip of the security committee of the previous regime was so strong on the army that the only way out for these forces within the opposition was to negotiate with them about the surrender of power. And here came the intervention from uh, the international community, the United States, the Troika, the, and they used the African Union, especially the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, to act as mediators between the, two, uh, between the civilians and the military. The, the, here, the, the position of the SCP was very clear. Negotiation with the military was only on handing power to the civilians, nothing more, nothing less. And here there was, at, the, at that moment, groups within the, uh, the freedom and change forces started to facilitate and to uh, go back on their work and on their commitment about this main uh, demand of full and complete uh, civilian authority or complete civilian power. And th I think this is the point where uh, betrayal of the revolution started. Unfortunately, during that time, the pressure on the, uh, on the whole organization of the opposition was so great to the extent that uh, uh, and to the, it was a bit fragmented. So the pressure from outside about a negotiated settlement or a partnership between the civilian and the military had gained certain uh, ground. Uh, but what we want to say very clearly, that this pressure would not have resulted in the partnership or this project would not have been accepted unless within the opposition there were forces who were ready uh, to accept such a compromise or such a betrayal. It depends how you look at it. And from that point, uh, we came to discover, the SCP, sorry, came to discover that uh, the, the alliance itself is based on idea of blocks, block. So the, for example, the, 
forces for, of, uh, of national concessions are, are represented in the Freedom and Change uh, Coordination Committee as a block. And this block, where it, 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 it has five, it has five representatives, but they act as a block, not as independent political parties uh, within the uh, coordinating committee. And I think, and we think, sorry, uh, this is this was one of the mistakes which we accepted at that time, which has led uh, to. Uh, diminishing the independent role of the Sudanese Communist Party within the alliance. And so we, uh, we were forced to accept at the, uh, the beginning the consensus of the other, uh, with the other four who were uh, representing the, uh, the, the, uh, the consensus forces. So this is the second shortcoming uh, at that time. And because of that, what we, the, the, the program of the, transitional period was never ever even started to be implemented. So, uh, for example, the civilian, the civilian government was formed, yes, through by certain proposals coming from uh, the forces for change and uh, freedom and change. But the final word was not with the forces of freedom and change, but between, uh, at that time, the Prime Minister Hamdok and the, uh, the Sovereignty Council, or at that time, the, the Transitional Military Council. So the, 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 the betrayal, the compromise which had reached at that time started uh, to really abort the main demands of the revolution, uh, freedom, peace, and, uh, and justice. And from that time, uh, we find that the forces which were uh, educating the soft landing, which in another way means that the soft landing that uh, to keep the basis of the uh, previous regime was adding new social forces to enlarge its basis so that it can continue to defend the interests of the parasitic bourgeois as well as foreign uh, capital. And this is how uh, the revolution was betrayed. However, due to the, uh, let us say, the the success achieved by the, these forces, a new situation uh, developed. Instead of going straight to uh, implement the program, the hesitation created a situation of what we call uh, a revolution, uh, uh, I mean, a fluid situation whereby there, there was uh, internal struggle between two forces one going for the uh, continuation of the revolution, one going for uh, at least, if not aborting the whole thing, keeping it at the stand still. And this situation was uh, covered by the long period for negotiation to uh, Paris uh, draft the two main documents, the political document and the constitutional document, then the, uh, the establishment of the civilian government, the compromise that led to the military having uh, the two ministers of uh, defense and interior, then that the, the numbers within the Sovereignty Council should be 5-5, five, five, but uh, with the practice that started since the 11th of uh, April, uh, uh, the, the military started because they were the main organized force. They, meant, they since then, they started to display their control over uh, the state, the decisions, and Al-Burhan, head of the military council, uh, acted as a real head of state. And from that time, I think the, 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 the deterioration and attempts to stop the revolution uh, achieved certain success. This is how we see it. Uh, so the ends of the revolution were practically through the Paris, through the uh, palace coup on the, on the 11th of April, through the intervention of the inter international community and the regional forces, especially the, the AU and the uh, prime minister of Ethiopia, who played uh, a real uh, role in convincing the hesitant uh, forces within the opposition, uh, they managed to create a force to uh, succumbing uh, to the implementation 
of the soft landing. And this is what we are living right now. Right. Absolutely. In continuation with what you were right, just saying right now, uh, uh, over time, the Sudanese Communist Party has also withdrawn from the Declaration of Freedom of Change uh, forces as well. It has withdrawn from this coalition. It has also, what do you call, had very strong differences with some of its other coalition partners in the national consensus forces also. So could you explain the reason why the party decided to withdraw from the uh, Freedom and Change Coalition? Okay. As, as I have stated earlier, that the, 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 the idea of losing our independence within the so-called uh, organization of bloc uh, really curtailed the independence position of the party within the alliance, which goes against our main principle, that while we are part of a coalition or a broad front, we should maintain all the time our independence. Within the, 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 uh, within the alliance as well as outside the alliance. Because our main slogan is uh, at least to reflect what is going inside the, the, the negotiating room to the masses. And this is where a second mistake was committed. So we were pressed by the alliance and it seems at that time the leadership was so keen in maintaining the alliance against, uh, let us say the military, that we succumb to this pressure in keeping within the alliance and losing the uh, independence of the party. We, we did a lot of, uh, we made a lot of effort to convince our uh, partners, especially within the uh, national consensus forces, our, uh, about our position, about the importance of really sticking uh, to the idea of civil uh, power and uh, uh, curtailing the influence of the military, as well as the interests coming from uh, the regional forces, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and EU, uh, who started um, uh, playing havoc with the, with the alliance, inviting delegations, uh, bringing delegations in and outside. So we, we tried as much as we could to maintain the alliance, to keep the alliance intact. But when we discovered that the alliance itself is being manipulated by forces from outside and inside the country, that is, this is the point we started to act uh, alone. And there was no chance for us uh, to, for example, that we can withdraw from, withdraw from uh, the, uh, the Freedom and Change uh, organization without withdrawing from the bloc uh, to which we are represented. And this is what has happened. And this is why it happened. It happened because we discovered that being inside uh, this alliance, uh, our role is curtailed. Second, that this, uh, I mean, there is a certain crystallization of forces which was taking place till uh, October or November last year, that the, the, a lot of forces, especially the, we were, we were speaking, for example, of enlarging the forces for uh, freedom and change on a horizontal, uh, basis, allowing, for example, the uh, resistance committee committees to join the, the alliance. Uh, speaking about the new committees, which which were uh, uh, created as a steering committees to establish the trade union organization to allow workers organizations inside other forces block uh, this idea of enlarging the alliance on a uh, horizontal level. And instead, the Uma Party, the Sudan Congress, and even the Arab, the, the Arab nationalists uh, agreed together to establish a kind of a vertical leadership, which would tie the hands of the parties inside the alliance, rather than give uh, these uh, parties more independence and more space to speak uh, and uh, seek to convince others. All these reasons com combined together has led to the party to withdraw from uh, the two organizations. Absolutely. Right. And in this context, a couple of major developments are going to happen this month. One is the two important pillars of the new system, that is the Sovereignty Council and the Cabinet are going to be reshuffled. And this is after the talks with the various rebel groups that had been taking place over the past few months. So could you, could you maybe talk about what is the kind of uh, shape that this new governing both the cabinet and the sovereignty council will take 
And there have been reports that uh, some of these armed groups are collaborating with the establishment in a much more detailed level. So how do you see this taking shape? Mm. Anyway, uh, uh, what is happening now uh, is that, I mean, something which is missing even in the question, because the, the development has led to the establish now or what they call the uh, the Partners Council for the uh, for the transitional period. Uh, this council is actually a super power uh, organization. It is above the Sovereignty Council, above the uh, cabinet, and above even if the legislative body is established. This is this is uh, it is it, in reality this is the organ of power today whereby there is the military council, the, the so-called representatives of the rebel groups, and two or three from what remains from the freedom and change uh, uh, organization. So when they are speaking now about forming a government within uh, the force of uh, February or even uh, establishing the uh, this body by the 25th of February, I don't think this, first of all, this is a clear violation of the constitutional uh, document, which was adopted uh, in uh, the period after the overthrow of al-Bashir. And they are going with, I mean, this new alliance between uh, the military in the Sovereignty Council, the representative of this so-called revolutionary front of the rebel groups, plus three political parties. This is the, uh, uh, the basis, the basis mainly, Sudan, the Sudan Congress and the National Union. These three parties are the real parties and uh, having this new alliance uh, today, which is proposing these new uh, steps to establish a cabinet and so on and so forth. So our position is that this is now, it is, uh, they are trying to use the quota principle to distribute offices of the uh, cabinet uh, ministries among themselves to add some people to the uh, Sovereignty Council, uh, maybe to appoint uh, new uh, uh, governors for the, uh, uh, the different uh, provinces and so on and so forth, away from the main trend within the street. Because there is a real contradiction existing now in the Sudan between the, uh, the forces who are seeking a radical change in the country. And are mainly represented uh, within the uh, the committees, uh, uh, the, the, the resistance committees, and the trade union, the professional. Uh, uh, I mean, these are the forces which are today fighting against uh, these proposals of force of April, uh, force of uh, February, and so on. So I don't envisage because they have their own plan, which means they are changing everything which was adopted. Uh, earlier within the constitutional uh, document and the political document to suit the new alliance. And in a sense, that means a real betrayal of the revolution. That's why today, for example, we are calling for a change in, the, in, in power, that we, we are fighting to establish a broad uh, front to change the, the balance of forces first, and second, really to, to, to establish a government which represent the aspiration of the people. We don't expect uh, the formation of any government or sovereignty uh, council, which they will add two or three from the rebel groups, and they will change some of the civilians and so on, will really affect the policies being implemented in the country.